So whoever invented circular breathing was on to something. It is not just the ability to play longer than you can on one breath. For brass players, circular breathing unlocks a lot of really important skills and benefits. For one, you have to learn how to relax your corners and you have to learn how to play on puffed cheeks, which creates a whole lot of indirect training for playing more relaxed, which enhances your endurance, it enhances your range, and not only that, you can play long tones that are infinite in length, theoretically. So you're not limited to a 20 or 30 second long tone. You can play 10 minute long tones if you want. So I'll give a little demo of circular breathing just so you can kind of see how it works. Now, tra traversing all of that range on one breath, typically we have to breathe and reset. It introduces all kinds of complications. So if you want to work on your flexibility, being able to circular breathe, can help you just get more swings. You don't have to uh, stop in the middle of working on your flexibility. It's really brilliant. It also, like I said, teaches us how to puff the cheeks and potentially how to use those air pockets to create benefits of endurance, to increase high range, and just in general to stop fearing what happens if we don't just you know flex our faces all the time, which in my opinion is one of the um, mistakes of traditional brass pedagogy is the insistence on being completely flexed and firm all the time. How could you circular breathe if that was required to play successfully? So there's a lot to unpack with circular breathing. Circles, circles, we're horn players. We love circles. So if you wanna learn how to circular breathe, it's super easy. I've got um, a really easy progression that I teach we're gonna figure out how to do it away from the horn and then we're gonna do it on the horn and then we're gonna get into applications on the horn with uh, orchestra excerpts, solo pieces, technical exercises, and just unlocking really healthy mechanics and working into extended compositions and ways of approaching the instrument. If that's interesting to you, I got a sign up form somewhere around here. So click it and sign up and I can't wait to see you there.